The following program contains experiments with fire. Please do not try this at home. Here is a sheep, and now there is a ram. Hey you, it's Sam the Lamb. That's me. I'm Professor Sam the Lamb. And today we're going to find out if wool burns. Burn, baby, burn. Da, 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 burn, baby. Hi, I'm Professor Madeline. Today we're going to investigate the flammability of different fabrics. Professor Daisy, what are we going to test first? First, we will be testing the polar fleece. Fabrics can generally be divided into two groups. Synthetic fibres, which are man-made, and natural fibres that come from plants and animals. First, we'll test if synthetic fibres burn. Polyester is a popular synthetic man-made fibre and is used to make different fabrics such as polar fleece. Kids have polar fleece jumpers and um, I don't think they'll be that flammable, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, well, I'll get my burner going. So, you reckon it'll burn? And we'll see. Ooh, what's happening now, Daisy? The polar fleece is shrinking from the heat and making black holes and it's set on fire now. Fire. See, Sam the lamb? Ooh, be careful, Sam. Don't get too close. We might have to put that one out. So, if you said that polar fleece burns, then you were right. It is flammable. Feel the burn! What does it look like? Um, well, polar fleece is actually made out of plastic and so it's actually made of plastic bottles. So it feels like plus melted plastic bottles. Mm. So it's like crunching. Ooh, and it really doesn't smell very nice. Doesn't smell at all nice. No. All right, well, let's try another fabric. What's this one? We also tested polyester satin, which is also made from man-made fibres. When this burns, it melts and can melt to your skin. Ouch! Oh, Sam, it doesn't smell very good, does it? And now it's time to test some natural fibres. So, what's this one? Can you tell me this about This one that? is cotton. Cotton is a natural fibre that grows in the fruit of the cotton plant. A lot of kids wear cotton and mm. adults. And Sam Lam, do you wear cotton? Nope. Well, let's see what happens when we like this one. So, do you think cotton will burn? Oh wow. This one's caught on fire now. As you can see, I don't think it's very suitable for kids to hang around And fires. I think we might need to put this one out. And if you said that cotton burns, then you are a smart cookie. Next time can I put the fire out? I don't need a bottle. That's better. That was very flammable, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't think it'd be very safe for anyone to wear around campfires. Let's try this fabric. What's this one? This one's wool, like Sam the lamb. Wool is a natural fibre that comes from sheep, just like me. When wool is shorn from sheep, it grows back again, just like your hair after a haircut. Wonder what's going to happen when we try and like this. What you think, guys? Will wool burn? Whoa, crazy town. Oh. Whoa. What's happening, Daisy? It's turning brown. Well, because wool is made from sheep, like Sam the lamb, um, it only makes a mark when it's burnt. So it actually doesn't catch on fire, so there's no flames. My wool doesn't burn, and it doesn't melt and stick to my skin when I'm near a fire. The only time I'm on fire is when I'm playing with my friends. Ow! What does it smell like? It smells like my mum's straightening irons that she's used and burnt her hair. So, which fabric do you think is safest around a fire? Is it polar fleece or polyester satin or cotton or wool? The safest would probably be wool because it would only make marks. Yes, I think you're probably right, Daisy. So there you go, science lovers. Wool doesn't burn or melt and won't keep burning when the source of the flame is taken away. That's one heck of a fibre. I can keep the lab coat, right?